Today we will be discussing the Kruskal's algorithm to find out minimum cost spanning tree. If you do not have the basic idea of how the algorithm works, please watch part 1 for a clear understanding. But I will give you a quick recap. Let this be the graph for which you are going to find out the minimum cost spanning tree. The Kruskal's algorithm works by first converting this graph into a set of trees where each tree consists of one vertex of the graph. The algorithm then proceeds by sorting the edges of the graph in increasing order of the weights and adding them one by one to the minimum cost spanning tree. Please note that if adding an edge results in a cycle in the graph then the edge will be discarded. Now that you know the working of the Kruskal's algorithm, let's understand the algorithm step by step. In the first step, you can see that a set A is created and it is initialized to null. This is the set to which the edges of the graph will be added and hence ultimately this set will contain the minimum cost spanning tree. Line 2 contains a for loop which is used to examine the vertices of the graph one by one. In line 3, the makeset function forms a set using each vertex and these sets represent the trees which are formed using the vertices. And in step 4, the edges are sorted in increasing order of the weights. The next step is a for loop which is used to examine the edges of the graph which is already sorted in the increasing order of the weight in the previous step so that the edge which has the minimum weight is accessed first. The next step is a very crucial step which is used to check whether adding this edge will result in a cycle in the graph. To check whether there is a cycle, we make use of the find set function. The find set function returns the set to which the vertex belongs. So before adding an edge, we check whether the vertices of the edge, that is u and v, whether they belong to the same tree or not. For that, find set of u will return the set to which vertex u belongs and find set of v will return the set to which vertex v belongs. If both the sets are the same, it means that u and v belong to the same tree or that they are already connected. Now if u and v are already connected, adding an edge uv will result in a cycle. The if statement here checks whether u and v belong to different trees and if they belong to different trees, line 7 adds the edge uv to the set A that is the edge uv is added to the minimum cost spanning tree. And finally in line number 8 a union function is used to combine the set of vertex u and the set of vertex v to indicate that they are connected. And finally, the algorithm returns the set A which now contains the minimum cost spanning tree. So that was the Kruskal's algorithm and this algorithm is taken from the textbook Introduction to Algorithms by Cormac. So I hope the algorithm is now clear to you. In the next part, we will be discussing the analysis. Thank you.